Would you uh, now tell the viewers some authentic du'as, which are good for them, <laughs> that they can make in this month of mercy? There are hundreds of du'as which are authentic. And if you can refer to the book, Fortification of a Muslim Through the Supplications, from the Quran and the authentic hadith, it's a book published which have more than 100 du'as, I think 129 to be precise. I'll just mention a couple of them from the Quran and the hadith since your request is that. The most general dua which is there in the Quran in Surah Baqarah, chapter number two, verse number 201 is, Rabbana atina fid duni hasnata wa fil akhrati hasnata kin azab in nar. Oh my Lord, give us the good in this world and the hereafter and save us from the torment of hellfire. This is the general dua which is general and the best. There are various other du'as given in the Qur'an, and the du'as of the Qur'an are the best because this is the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself. Allah says in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 8, رَبَّنَا لَا تُلْدِي قُلُوبَنَا بَعَدْ إِذْ هَدَيْتَنَا وَحَبْ لَنَا مِنْ لَدُنْ كَرَهْمَا إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ الْوَحَاب Which means, O Lord, let not our hearts deviate after Thou has guided us. And grant us mercy from Thy bounty, for Thou art the grantor of bounties. The other dua which I always make in the starting of any lecture, which is asking for help for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which you can do when you begin any speech or when you're doing something which is very difficult, is the dua which Musa alayhi salam made when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked Musa alayhi salam, then go and give the message to Pharaoh. So it's mentioned in Surah Taha, chapter number 20, verse number 25 to 28. Rabbi shu sadri, wa yisalli amri, wa halul ugdatum lisan yafkaf kawli, which means, oh my Lord, Expand my breast for me and make my task easy for me and remove the impediment which is in my speech so that they will understand me. And you know, Musa alayhi salam, he was a stammerer. And as many people are aware that even I, during my childhood, I was a stammerer. And even now I sometimes stammer. So that is the reason I read this dua at the beginning of every talk. So Musa alayhi salam asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to remove the impediment from my speech. And furthermore, so that they will understand me. And there is a barrier many a time between you and the person to whom you are giving the message. So we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may that barrier be removed. Therefore, before every talk, I supplicate so that the audience, if there is any barrier between the audience and myself, it is removed. These were just a few du'as from the Quran. There are several authentic du'as even from the hadith. There is a Sahih hadith in Tirmidhi as well as uh, Sayyid Nibban, where the Prophet said that anyone who says, Subhanallah wa bihamdi, which means glory be to Allah and praise be to Allah, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will plant a date tree for that person in paradise. The other hadith which is there mentioned in Sahih Muslim, Book of Fikr, hadith number 6509, where the beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that anyone who says, Subhanallah wa bihamdi, glory be to Allah and praise be to Him, if you mention 100 times, there's nothing more excellent for him on the day of judgment, on the day of resurrection. Nothing better than that. Except someone who says similar words or someone who says something better. A similar hadith is mentioned in Sayyid Bukhari, volume number eight, hadith number 6405, where the beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said that anyone who says, Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, glory be to Allah, and praise be to Allah a hundred times, his sins will be forgiven. Even if his sins are equal to the form of the sea. And there are various authentic hadith that also says in Sahih Muslim, hadith number 749, that when you hear the call of the Muaddin, then you have to pray and say that I testify that there is no one worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he has got no partners. And Prophet Muhammad is the slave and messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I'm pleased with my Lord, who is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I'm pleased with my messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa And I'm pleased with my deen Islam. Anyone who says this, his sins will be forgiven. There are various such hadith. For example, after the salah obligatory prayers, we say, subhanallah, we say, alhamdulillah, we say, Allah akbar. If you say it hundred times, then your sins will be forgiven. There are other hadith, like after the obligatory prayers, we say, Allahumma anta salam wa minka salam, tabakta zalali wal ikram. And in traveling, when we board any vehicle, any plane, any car, etc., dua which our Prophet has said that 
subhana allazi sakhralana hadha wa ma kunna la mukrinin wa inna ila rabbina munqalibun so these were just a few samples of the authentic duas from the quran and the sahih hadith